they could use some data to actually inform what's what to do, right? To make this through the city council, for instance, or the county board, for instance, or to recruit a city partner, right? So that's where the new policy comes in. It's usually about not something groundbreaking or altogether foreign. It's about something basic, like we should reduce the size of plastic bottles, right? But again, you can't make those specific policy recommendations um, without having a more clear, robust understanding, which is, if you go to the next slide, um, more depicted here. Uh, and it's funny, I didn't actually look at Nick's slides beforehand, so I didn't know he had those like four little checks on how to measure good data. So we did not coordinate that. Um, but these are fairly consistent. And as you can see, and frankly, they kind of match the three different people that you heard from today. So this is what data, data driven policy in my experience really looks like. And really one takeaway, if anything you wanna take from this is it's not like a strict linear process. It's this ongoing evolving process amongst partners. And before I go in, let me step back for a second and just take a look at this panel, aside from the, the crazy random person who's just talking, and you've got a great local government leader, you've got a great community nonprofit leader, and you've got a strong technology partner, right? That's the real, that's the real way data-driven policy works, and that's what we're gonna see here. 